What's up, y'all? Welcome to part one of our favorite injustice moments. It's where me and, and, and some guests, some guests, friends, stars, whatever, blah, 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 are all coming together in this first part of uh, this video to talk about our favorite injustice moments. First of all, welcome to the channel. I'm the Nation Comics. This is Day Day, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I want to give an apology to all of my uh, sensitive people out there. I'm sorry. This video was quickly put together, but I had to allow some people to express their favorite part the way they feel. So some of them might have a little bit of little language going on and I had time to bleep it out. I, I just wanted to put this together to share my excitement. I'm sorry to the people that are watching this with they cheering. Don't worry. It ain't too crazy over the top. It's just a couple of them pop out a couple of tips. <laughs> <laughs> and but it, it's an exciting it's in an exciting way to express how they feel i had to let them just be themselves and i had to respect that so i'm sorry it, it might have a little bit just a little bit of language this is rated pg <laughs> so what's about to go down in the vi in this video is that every single guest that i have in this video is getting ready to share their favorite injustice moment it can't be spoiler free free i can't i can't say that I, I, it was. It's hard. You can't just share your moment without spoiling it, and and I can't. I couldn't let them do that without, you know, spoiling anything without them expressing how they feel. So please be be mindful. Do not get butt hurt or anything. If you if there's something that's been spoiled you did not know and you're curious about reading this, do not proceed. Now, if you do want to be curious just to see what happens, go watch it on your own term. But I'm just saying, <laughs> you can't. Spoiler warning, okay? You've been warned. Enjoy the show, y'all. The world has changed forever. Superman has crossed the line. You know what we're about to do, Omni family. Welcome to the multiverse of YouTube. I am twin. Twin of who, you ask? Twin of Davion. Or as you know him, as his code name goes, Day Day. And what I'm about to get into is what is my favorite moment from Injustice, Gods Among Us. favorite moment in Injustice is that we get to witness the true brutality of Superman. Now I'm not talking about the staple of the death of Joker where Superman thrusts his arm through his chest cavity and out the other side. No, 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 no. That's just a release for Superman. Cancers posing as men, the quote he says to the Calabac when he comes to Earth to bring a war. Oh, Calabac, how mistaken you are. You thought he wasn't capable. Oh, the shock that you witnessed, the fury that you felt behind his hands. <laughs> Calabac, you should know better. Creatures like you coming to Earth, his world, to slaughter innocents. Oh, and you think that you could just leave without facing your crimes? Oh, there is no daddy here to save you, Calabac. Unfortunately. Oh, but you're a god. I don't care. Thank you for having me on, Omni Family. I'm just a humble comic reviewer and enthusiast and enjoyer of all art. Twin, 
I'll see you back on the planet. Now, which which way do I exit? Or do I just, can I just fly from here? What's good? How's your day going? Mine pretty good, pretty good. Just reading uh, some Injustice. Happy Injustice Week, everybody. I hope the film's already out and you're enjoying it. I sure as hell will be. So, picking a, picking a, a section from this great series is, is definitely a challenge because it's, it's so packed of so many great moments. The rivalry between Batman, the people who you know we lose along the way. But the one moment that I was not expecting comes to mind immediately that's like that's so injustice and man it gotta be that one the ending of year one after a long battle with superman and after the death of green arrow batman just escapes to the bat cave one last you know resort plan and in that moment superman just snaps and he literally does snap batman back too <clears throat> so here we are our hero defeated he literally could die any moment and the least expected thing happens. Alfred, the butler, uh, Bruce Wayne's best friend probably, comes in and saves the day. I mean, he takes one of the pills and he just goes on Superman and, and it's, 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 it's just, you know, he says, so he goes in, he says, I'm, the point, I'm disappointed in you. He just goes, pa, 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 and you feel it because after everything this hero's been through, I mean, uh, Nightwing dies, Green Arrow dies, so many other heroes, you kind of feel like Alfred and you just want to just hit Superman into consciousness and say, you know, I had enough too. Like, come on. Like, these are your friends and look what you're doing. You know, Batman's been there forever. And this is how you're going to treat him? Like, it just, it just kind of like, just gives that sort of, I won't say rage, but that sort of emotion. You sort of feel Alfred's emotion because you, you want to do the same with Superman. And it's just such a good way to end issue uh, volume one, year one. Because after that, you know, they teleport and you're like, wow, Batman's back is broken. Alfred just pretty much just went on Superman. He took a big defeat. No one, no one won, everyone lost. Where is this gonna go? And it just sets up the whole rest of the story up. So good. I mean, talk about unexpected. And like I said, it just, the emotion on it, just how it lead up to that specific moment, just the ending, everything. Batman being getting ass whoop, uh, Superman getting ass whoop, and Alfred just coming in to save the day. You know, just this ordinary human, no powers. He just says, "Let me take this pill and you know come in through for my friends," which is something Superman hasn't done for this whole issue, this whole series, I should say. So I think we all kind of just feel that that rage that Alfred feels in that moment, and just capsulate the whole year one and just injustice for me. Thanks everybody for watching my moment. Shout out again to Day Day. This wouldn't be possible without him. So please give, show him some love, please, please, please. And yeah, I mean, I hope you guys, if you're not already reading this, please give it a read. And maybe the movie might, you know, inspire you to keep the story going because I know it's not going to cover the whole thing, but just watch the movie. And if you want to get more into it, I please suggest read all five uh, years and Justice 2 when it drops, and play the games too. It's just, the whole universe is great. So, I won't keep you long. Next person, your turn, man, what you got? What's up, everybody? My name is Mikey. Uh, you're in my home, welcome. Uh, shout out to Davion Jackson Washington III. Um, in Omni Nation Comics, Day Day Photography, what else he does? Well, Day Day Scenes, I don't know if that exists, probably does. Um, just everything that he does, shout out to my brother, man. He's a, he's a great dude, and uh, I hope y'all follow him on all platforms, and you, you respect him, man, because he's a hard worker. Injustice, that's what we're here to talk about, dog. This is just a game, don't worry about that. Uh, but Injustice, nonetheless. So, my favorite moment, I can, I can give you many. But uh, I feel like my moment just it encaptures everything or it captures everything to me. Um, it's from year three 
But to understand, you, you have to understand how much I love DC. Uh, how much I love the Justice League. I love Marvel, but DC has a place in my heart because of the Justice League TV show when I was a kid. And Injustice is the breaking down of that. So it is something very emotional and very powerful to me. I know it's like just words and images on paper, but when you grow up in it, it is something that's hard to explain. So excuse me if I stumble a lot. But um, just a little little backstory of why this is my favorite moment, a few moments in Injustice, um, the lead up to this. Um, a lot of death and in Injustice. Um, this is a... Uh, a lot of death happening and the moment superman crosses the line is at the joker technically but i feel like the biggest moment crosses the line is when he kills the martian manhunter that's the first leaguer he kills and there are many deaths followed by that that impact me heavily including green arrow another great hero that he he personally takes the life of beats him to death a mere human um and uh one that, that had nothing to do with Superman, actually, the death that actually shook me the most. It's uh, because of the irony, and that's uh, Kyle Rayner, one of the greatest Green Lanterns, arguably the greatest. You know, everybody knows how, but Kyle Rayner was on another level, and he quite literally died naked and afraid. It's nothing particularly gruesome. They just cut off his finger, his ring finger, so he loses his suit, and he dies in the vacuum of space surrounded by yellow lanterns all fear so literally naked and afraid but that's not my favorite my favorite moment is the moment that you see all of that all of the pain all of the death could have been prevented at the cost of my favorite superhero batman because my favorite moment is one that didn't happen one that was a fantasy and that's when superman is magically induced into a coma and he sees his wife still alive, his child raised to be Supergirl. And at the cost, Superman, uh, excuse me, Batman's greatest sacrifice. He broke his cardinal sin. He killed the Joker, something he has not been able to do, except in something that's not real. And and Justice boils down to Batman versus Superman. Everybody's involved, but Batman versus Superman, two of the greatest superhero friends you've ever seen. It is their conflict. And Batman's greatest sacrifice, the greatest thing he's ever done for Superman wasn't real. And it made me question Batman. It made me question why he was my favorite and that's why it's my favorite moment. It shook me to my core that if the man he killed, not even a man, Joker, if he prevented this so long ago, we would not be here. And justice wouldn't have happened. He's, he's caused so many deaths, so much pain to the Gordons, to the city of Gotham, and in this reality, in the Injustice universe, to the whole universe by unleashing a deranged Superman. And it could all have been prevented. And that's why it's my favorite moment. Because as Batman, as great as he is, is he really the greatest that superheroes have to offer? If one life could have saved millions, maybe billions. Thank you everybody for watching my Injustice moment. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I didn't. But uh, remember, my name is Barry Allen and I lose every week to somebody faster than me, so I'm the slowest man alive. Good evening everyone. I'm with Omni Nation to talk about my favorite uh, part in the DC Universe Injustice comic. Uh, my fate, of course, I'm sure you can tell, my favorite DC character is Red Hood. And you can find me on Instagram as Gaines Franco, and call, my real name is Eric. So, my favorite part in the DC Universe 
Injustice series is when Superman kills one of the guardians of the Green Lantern Corps and gains the power of the Yellow Ring. Superman, who I'm sure you all know, even if you're not into comics, you know Superman is like his top fucking tier like superhero in the DC universe. No hardly anybody can like keep can keep up with him. And this is already after he's plowed through a few superheroes already. Now he's here, now he's killed a member of the Green Lan or the Guardian one of the guardians of the Green Lantern Corps, who are just the, the fucking police of the universe. That now now he has the power of the yellow ring. Now he has the power that is fueled by fear. And Everyone's fucking afraid of Superman at this point. Nobody, nobody, there's not a soul in the universe that doesn't not know who Superman is now. So he has unlimited fear to tap into to just run shit. And the one thing that we have on him, which is that kryptonite, doesn't mean anything now because Black Canary tried shooting him with a bullet and he just got his fucking yellow pliers and just pull that shit out. We have nothing to fight him with. We, all right, let's all, let's just put all this shit away now and get on our knees. And now we have to worship our new God Emperor of the planet and pray he doesn't kill us. We have nothing left to throw at him. So thank you everyone for listening to my short rant on my favorite part of the Injustice comic series. Uh, thank you, Day Day, for bringing me in and letting me blow off some steam during these tumultuous times that we live in. Uh, almost feels like I'm at a convention just being in cosplay. So I hope to see you all at a convention soon. I'll see you guys later. I'm going to go continue and force the streets of Gotham until Superman comes back and kills everyone. So if you'll excuse me, I am going to go shoot and or stab a criminal. And it is my turn. Now y'all know who I'm is. I already introduced myself in the beginning of the video. Now, my turn to give you my most epic injustice moment out of the plenty that I can choose from. Oh, there's so many. But anyway, all right, here it is. Dark side, as usual, decides to allow his minions to do his dirty work. His son, Calabac, with his nappy head ape looking self <laughs> decides to come on over to earth with the doggone pair of demons to slam superman and his crew and dark side thought superman was getting weak so he was like go ahead calabac go kill the kryptonian <laughs> and calabac Galabac was like yes sir so he went over there to do it make a long story short while the war was going on i'm finna skip on to my part here it is. Calabac puts a chokehold on soups, right? And then all the other pair of demons come around and, and just pile on top of them, right? Superman, the lowest one on the ground. Ooh, this moment is crazy. And as usual, he says to him, you're weak, Kryptonian. You are you suck, you stank. Everything about you stank. You weak, you fell in your people, blah, 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 blah. And boy, in that moment, Soup's eyes start to light up, and boom! <laughs> a whole big burst of freaking parademons just flew, a big old blast just flew everywhere. I was like, whoa! <laughs> Y'all remember that scene on Matrix Reloaded when uh, Neo was piled up with all them Mr. Smiths on him? The same thing, right? I went nuts when that happened. See, I, I just love when characters just underestimate other characters especially dark side and all these other ones like superman y'all better quit sleeping on this man's strength okay especially calabac and then what happens to calabac y'all already know what happens because my twin done talked about it superman wasn't finished after that but that right there was my epic moment because <laughs> it was unbelievable so mind-blowing out of so many that i ah! there's so many moments but yeah that was my epic